The Minutemen Civil Defense Corps search and rescue teams were returning to Cochise County over the weekend of August 8th through the 12th. We were invited by rancher John Ladd to audit the effectiveness of the new government-constructed, taxpayer-funded Minuteman Civil Defense Corps fence. The fence now stretches from the east side of the San Pedro River all the way across the Ladd Ranch to Naco, Arizona. From Naco, it continues all the way to Douglas and up to 20 miles to the east of Douglas towards the New Mexico state border. The fence is a beautiful sight and has been anticipated for years, but not until the Minutemen Civil Defense Corps challenged the federal government to build one did they actually follow through. Sixteen members of the Minutemen Civil Defense Corps search and rescue operations divided themselves into teams of four and scouted the entire 13 miles of fence along the Ladd Ranch. That evening, as the sun went down, our groups were in position. Our first encounter occurred at post four, almost at sundown. This post is notorious for drug incursions. Two scouts approached the fence and saw our vehicles and volunteers watching intently. Two men had radios. We heard them transmitting as they retreated. They retreated about a hundred yards away, watched us intently for a while, disappeared and never returned for the entire weekend. The scouts were undoubtedly surprised to find Minutemen on the job. Later that evening, Post 1 was surprised to find six IAs retreating toward the hole in the fence back towards Mexico. The group crossed back into Mexico through a hole in the fence. This hole in the fence had been washed out by monsoon rains about a week previously. Border Patrol has no tentative plans on how soon the fence will be repaired. Saturday afternoon was much different. The word was out. Border Patrol presence increased dramatically up and down the line. All afternoon, drug mules and human traffickers continually scouted the 13 miles of fence in vehicles and on foot. One individual started at post three and scouted the entire fence back to the east, a five mile section ending up at post one, the site of the hole in the wall. Little did he know as he was scouting and making his plans for later that night that Minuteman Civil Defense Corps volunteers were videotaping him safely from a distance, hidden in the brush. Later that evening, about four separate groups of eight to ten people each converged a couple of hundred yards south of the hole in the wall. They were obviously preparing to enter illegally into the United States throughout the night. The groups totaled about 30 to 40 people, but they were quickly met by MCDC volunteers and a Border Patrol presence as they approached the fence. They hunkered down and waited all through the night. On Sunday morning, the groups had disappeared. They never crossed. Obviously, fences do work, especially when the fences are augmented with cameras and technology, especially when they're augmented by Border Patrol in vehicles and on foot. And they're especially augmented by the citizenry who keep vigilant watch, ensuring that our borders are secured. Thanks to the Minutemen Civil Defense Corps Search and Rescue Team volunteers for giving up their weekend and watching a section of our border in Cochise County, Arizona.